What's going on everybody? It is Chris from Out West with Chris and I'm back today to do another unboxing of BattleBox. This is Mission 32 and I think this is the Pro Plus, I'm not sure. It's a really small box if it's Pro Plus. So I don't know what's in the box. I haven't, um, you know, been paying attention to the spoilers or anything like that. Um, I think I have an idea of what one item might be. Um, like a taser, probably not a taser, but like a stun gun. So maybe a stun gun? Who knows? So let's check it out. Here it is. Let's get after it. So the sit rep is danger close. So it looks like um, this is a self-defense box. That's pretty interesting. Mission 32, October 2017. Let's dive in. Oh my gosh, yeah, there is a stun gun in here. That's pretty crazy. I have a feeling there's gonna be a lot of uh, sharp stuff in this box. Not positive, but um, I think this is the first item. This is from ABKT, I think which means American Buffalo Knife something. I'm not sure about that, but I've got some knives from them before in like another subscription box and they're okay. They're okay knives. The value on this knife is $9.99. So um, it's called a punch dagger. It's got a little Kydex um, sheath on it. Oh yeah, that's pretty oily. It's got like a little punch dagger. Um, the blades on both sides are not sharp, but the tip is sharp. So you can hold this in between some knuckles and punch. Um, so interesting little self-defense tool. So it's really small, um, but I'm gonna say this is gonna be really effective too um, in between your knuckles like that if you had to get into a a fight if you were trying to defend yourself. So next up is this. This is from Saber and this is some pepper spray, self-defense spray. You can get 35 bursts out of one of these, it looks like, and it has a UV dye included so it's gonna dye um, an attacker. Something like this would be great for your wife, your daughter, your granddaughter. So that's pretty awesome. Um, I don't have any pepper spray. <laughs> I've never went out and bought pepper spray or anything like that. Um, so something that I'm probably gonna be pretty happy to have. I personally have never been sprayed by pepper spray. Okay, moving on to the next item in the basic box. It's a personal key ring alarm from the same company called Saber. So interesting, let's, uh, let's check this out. To sound the alarm, you pull this from here. This pin comes out. Are you ready? That's pretty loud. Yeah, so to sound the alarm, um, this chain right here comes out of this pin. <laughs> that's, that's pretty loud. <laughs> oh man. That's pretty impressive. It probably gonna ruin my mic. <laughs> that's crazy, it's super high pitch. Uh, that's kinda cool. Um, something like this I, I could actually see giving to my kids. Um, my kids have expressed some interest in walking to school. We don't live too far away from the school. Um, but I tend to drop them off um, just so I know that they're there on time and that type of thing. But they have expressed some interest in walking to school and something like this would actually be pretty cool to give to um, the kids. And so if somebody started messing with them or something like that, they could always pull this, um, draw attention for people around. Um, this would be great for, you know, a um, kid going to college because a lot of colleges don't allow um, self-defense weapons and stuff like that. Um, pretty interesting. You know, you could also use something like this. I know this isn't what this box is for. 
Um, but if you had a campsite and you were at a bug out location, you could use this as a perimeter alarm. Um, I'm sure a lot of you guys have already thought about that, but it wouldn't be too hard to set up a trip wire or something that would pop out this little keychain portion and set this off. So um, interesting, pretty interesting actually. Value on this was 10 bucks. I think that's pretty fair value. The value on the pepper spray, I forgot about that, um, is $11, so $10.99. The next item, and this came in the basic box. This is pretty crazy. This, the Viper Tech, and this is your stun gun. Now, not everybody was gonna get a stun gun. Um, I guess there are some states, municipalities, that um, you know don't allow private citizens to have a stun gun. I guess, I don't know. Um, I would be surprised that, you know, of all of those states out there, California would allow you. Oh, it has a little flashlight to it. So that must be off. That must be on, but it's not wanting to go. And I'm not gonna test this out on myself. Um, there were some people in a live stream the other day saying, dude, you need to test that on yourself. And I don't really feel like that, doing that right now. I don't want to shit myself or piss myself or you know anything like that. And I don't wanna feel what this feels like. And it looks like it also has a charger, so um, pretty interesting. I'm guessing I need to charge it a little bit before it will work as a stun gun. I need to look at what the rules for my area are on, um, you know, carrying these, if you can conceal them and stuff like that. And something I encourage you guys to do too, you know, check your local rules. So that's your basic box, $54.95 for a $24.99 cost. Pretty cool. For those of you who didn't get the Viper Tech, um, you got two items, okay? They substituted. Um, one was the US Marine hand-to-hand -hand combat book, which I think would be kind of cool um, to take a look at. And then a tactical notebook, which I don't know what that means. Is it black? I mean, I don't, I don't know. The advanced box is a $49.99 cost, and they're stating a $144.89 value. That's a pretty big jump. And there's an item from Ready Man, and you guys all know if you've watched much of my channel that I and Ready Man have had issues in the past. So let's see what we've got. Right on the back, it says a Daniel Dabbs design. So this is um, a knife that was designed by Dan, Battle Dan, um, Daniel Dabbs, the CEO of BattleBox. And Dan does a lot of um, design and, and he has a lot of input on knives and that type of thing. So, this is a like a concealed knife and you could slide this in your belt and it would go in your lower back. You could reach out behind you. And yeah, this is a interesting little knife. It's got a really grippy texture right there. Got some jumping up top serrated and then a straight pretty cool nice and grippy pretty nice sheath on here nice positive lock on the sheath so this is the ready man wraith fixed blade belt knife um, so it's gonna go on your belt Typically, you'd carry that in the small of your back. I don't know if I'll have a whole lot of use for this. This really isn't my style, um, but it's way better than the cards they put out. <laughs> Pretty interesting design from Ready Man. Um, I might use it. I probably won't though. It's just not my style. Um, you know, uh, it, I tuck in my shirt most of the time because I'm an adult, so um, it won't conceal for me. You know what I mean? Like on the weekends when I'm not tucking in my shirt or if I'm wearing a sweatshirt or something like that, you know, maybe, maybe this would be good. Value on that, 
And I think that Ready Man puts a lot of value in their engineering and their brand. So I guess that's me saying, I think that's a little bit overvalued. Personally, that's just my opinion. Not knocking it. I think it is a very cool concept. Um, looks very well executed. All right, next up, BattleTac. Okay, here's something interesting, folks. This is a BattleTac Kubaton. BattleTac is actually a brand that's owned by BattleBox, basically. And they're gonna be making their own gear and branding their own gear. Um, BattleTac is gonna be the brand. So this is the first item from BattleTac that's gonna be in a, a battle box. So really interested to see how this turns out and um, you know, just take a look at it. So this is a $30 value and um, it's interesting. Um, it's got a finger loop up here. It's really lightweight, it looks, feels really solid. Yeah, it feels good when you hit something with it. Um, this could do some damage. This is pretty interesting as a self-defense item. So it has a pocket clip in it, so um, it's definitely gonna stick out. It's not deep carry, they even say that in their notes. But very accessible, um, just pull it out with your finger in the loop already. You're ready to rock and roll and defend yourself. It's a really light. It's a lot lighter than you would think it would be. I'm just looking at it. It's made from aircraft grade aluminum and the styling on it looks pretty awesome. They have a BattleTac logo on here. Um, the pocket clip is removable if you don't want to use it with one. Okay, so that wraps up your advanced box. Now let's go to the Pro. The cost of the Pro is $99. They're stating a value of $244.88. You get two items in this one. and One of them is this little knife right here. It is a bottle neck knife. So I don't know what exactly that means. That's interesting. It's uh, definitely got a bottle opener. So it has like a little thing you squeeze together, flip that down, and then it comes out like that. So um, super sharp. This is interesting. It's kind of a dagger without a point. Um, sharp on both sides. It's a, called a bottleneck knife. It does have a carry clip on it, a pocket clip right here. I don't know if I would carry this in my pocket. It's because it seems like this could get uh, latched, unlatched pretty easily. And then you could be dealing with a sharp edge um, as it comes out. It's an interesting design. I've never really messed with a knife uh, like this before. So um, I, yeah, I don't have any problem with it. It's definitely interesting. I'm gonna have to play with this a little bit and you know get a taste for it, see if it's something that I think I'm gonna utilize and enjoy. The value on that is 40 bucks. Next up is an item from Bastion. We've seen several items from Bastion. Um, they seem to work pretty closely with BattleBox. A bottle opener, gosh, let's, a couple bottle openers now. And it's basically, these are like brass knuckles um, with a glass break right there. These don't seem to really fit my hand that well. Um, that's just gonna be me. So this is the Bastion Gear Self-Defense Belt Tool. You know, this is um, designed to be worn on your belt. Um, and it's got a bottle opener, a glass breaker, and um, it's designed for self-defense. They do also mention that, you know, brass knuckles are illegal in many places. So do your own research. Um, they don't think this is classified as a brass knuckle because it has multiple functions, the glass break and the bottle opener. Um, but they do say, you know, do your own research. How do you do that? Do you walk into the police station and say, hey, is this illegal for me to possess? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't even know if I'd wanna get in a fight with one of these. I feel like I would end up breaking my own knuckles um, just because of how it fits in my hand, it, it's not really a good fit. For me personally, I guess maybe I have small hands. <laughs> so that brings us to the Pro Plus. The Pro Plus is
is the knife of the month club. Um, the past while, we haven't really been getting too many knives. Um, this is actually a knife, and the knife value is $120, which brings the total value of the Pro Plus to $364 for $150. Bucks. Pretty cool. Before we get into this, I know I always forget at the beginning, but I need to mention I did not pay for this box. Um, when I don't pay for something and I review it, I feel obligated to tell you guys. The interesting thing about this knife, well, there's a few interesting things about this knife. One interesting thing is this is another item from Battletech. Um, this is one of their knives. So, that's interesting. Two items this month from Battletech. This is a karambit. Karambit. I never know how to say it right. This is the Battletech Double Lock Karambit. Karambit. I don't know. I know somebody out there is an expert and they will correct me. I'll probably get corrected by multiple people telling me it's two different things. So some stats on this. Um, size open, 6.16 inches. Size closed, 4.75 inches. Blade size, 2.18. Two inches. The weight is 6.3 ounces. The blade material is D2, so there you go, that's pretty cool. Handle material is still in G10. Comes in a pretty nice little box. So here it is. Um, it feels surprisingly good in my hand. I usually don't like uh, this knife style, personally. But it feels pretty good in my hand. Um, it's not a really super aggressive uh, blade. A lot of times the Karambit will have a blade that just arches over really steep and to a really um, kind of acute angle. This is kind of nice, actually. Man, I really don't know what to say. I have never really been a big fan of um, this style of knife. It is a pretty much a single purpose knife. You're not gonna do much other than screw somebody up and make them have a bad day with this knife. This is a fighting knife. Um, one of the things about a uh, karambit is it can be held a couple different ways, utilized a few different ways, um, whether you're holding it like this and fighting, slashing, punching with it, um, using this end to hit um, and stun, and then slicing, um, or you can kind of reverse your, your handle on it and flip it out this way as well. So it would be a more of a slicing uh, movement. You could still use it to um, knock people on the head. Um, you could do some punches. And it turns your fist into a very, very lethal weapon. Man, I, I'm not usually a fan of this knife style. This is just me, personally. So while I personally would have probably rather had a fixed blade knife or a traditional folding knife, I do have to give it to Battletech and Battlebox for this knife. Um, I think it's pretty well done for what it is. So overall, pretty interesting box. I think the basic had some pretty cool stuff in it. The pepper spray, that alarm, which I think you know could be pretty cool. And um, a stun gun, I mean, that's, that's just crazy to me to get a stun gun in a $25 box. That's pretty awesome. And all around some interesting stuff. Some of the stuff really doesn't suit me, um, but I might try to work it into my EDC. Um, like the knife from Ready Man. Definitely gonna wear it a few times, give it a shot. Just see if it's something that, you know, I can work into my lifestyle. Of all of this stuff though, I think um, it raises a question, and this is just what I'm observing. I don't have any problem seeing battle tack items in a battle box. I think that that's pretty cool. One thing that I really like about battle box though is getting exposure to brands and companies that I really don't have a lot of interaction with. And they've done a great job introducing me to some companies that I'm now huge fans of. That Wagentech Fred Light last month, I've went and got a few more of those. I really liked that Fred Light. Topps Knives, um, you know, I didn't really know much about Topps Knives pr prior to getting the Cub. And that's true for a ton of different other brands that I've been exposed to. So the question for me is, is every knife going forward going to be a Battletech knife? And what do I think about that? Well, if they are all really well made, and 
you know, interesting, cool concepts and designs, I think I'm fine with it. I think, but I lose that exposure to other cool knife makers if that's the case. I think you guys get where I'm going with this. So while I'm super excited to see what other gear Battletack comes out with, you know, I don't know if I'm really super excited to see a ton of Battletack in my battle box for the rest of my life. But it would be kind of a hypocrite if I didn't point out that in the past with other boxes, I have been extremely critical of other boxes branding their own gear and um, including only their branded gear in their boxes. And I don't see that happening with BattleBox, but I would be kind of hypocritical if I didn't point it out. Um, the difference between the two is this is actually high quality. The other companies that have done that in the past many times take a $5 item that they can buy in bulk and put a $50 price tag on it, which I think is freaking lame. This, I don't think is what happened in this situation. This is actually pretty darn nice for what it is. So regardless of all of that, um, I think it's kind of an exciting time to be following Battle Box, to be a subscriber or to be somebody who's just kind of watching because this could be potentially really cool with the whole battle tack um, influence on their boxes. Could be potentially a distraction for them. I really don't know. I have no idea how it's gonna turn out. I'm really interested to see what the rest of 2017 has in store for us as fans of BattleBox, subscribers of BattleBox. So that wraps it up for me, everybody. Thank you for watching. I'm really interested to know what you guys think about some of these thoughts that I've brought up, some of the items, um, and the box as a whole. So leave your comments in the comment section down below. If you like this video, click that thumbs up button, subscribe, and as always, thank you guys for getting out west with Chris.